Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem where the given equation is an homogeneous differential equation of Euler type where we can find the variable coefficient. So here, we are going to use a substitution x is equal to e power z or z is equal to log x. By the substitution, we get x into ds d dash and x square d square as d dash into d dash minus 1. By substitution, the first term is d dash into d dash minus 1, then minus 2m minus 1 into, for this x d we have to put d dash and the last term is plus m square plus n square, then whole bracket into y equal to other side we have n square and x power m x is e power z so this will become e power m z and log x which is z now we have to simplify this term by multiplying the d dash so d dash square minus d dash then this d dash we have to multiply with both the term and there is a minus in outside so minus 2 m d dash plus d dash. And the last term is m square plus n square into y equal to n square e power m z into z. So here we can cancel d dash and minus d dash. After that we have d dash square minus 2 m d dash plus m square plus n square into y. On the other side, we have to write the terms as it is n square e power m z into z. Now, for solving, we have to write the auxiliary equation. This is already in terms of m. So, let's write the auxiliary equation in terms of theta. So, theta square minus 2 m theta plus m square plus n square. From this, we have to get the value of theta by using the formula, quadratic equation formula, minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. And here, the value of a is coefficient of theta square which is 1 and b is minus 2m and c is m square plus n square. By this substitution, theta equal to minus b, which is 2m, plus or minus root of b square, which is 4m square, minus 4ac. C is m square plus n square. Then whole divided by 2a, 2 into 1. Then we have 2m plus or minus. When I multiply this 4 inside, we get the first term 4m square as it is minus 4m square and minus 4n square then whole divided by 2 so we can cancel 4m square minus 4m square there is a negative term inside the square root so when I take square root it will become i into root of 4n is 2n because of the negative, we get i divided by 2. By dividing by 2, we get m plus or minus i n. This is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta. By comparing, we get alpha equal to m and beta equal to n. Now, complementary function is e power alpha z into c1 cos beta z plus c2 sin beta z. So, we get e power m z. Alpha is m. Then c1 cos m z. z is log x plus c2 sin beta is n. So, sin n into log x. And here, e power mz can be written as 
e power z whole power m. So this will become x power m because x is e power z which is the substitution we gave in the beginning. x is e power z. So this will become x power m and rest of the terms as it is. After this we have to find the particular integral where the right hand side we have n square e power m z into z n square e power m z into z and in the denominator we have to write this quadratic expression which is d dash square minus 2m d dash let's write it here d dash square minus 2m d dash plus m square plus n square now at the first part every d dash is replaced as d dash plus m because the value of a is from here e power a z so a is m so usually d dash will be d dash plus a but in place of a we have m so numerator we have to write as it is n square e power m z into z whole divided by this is d dash plus m whole square minus 2 m into d dash plus m then plus m square plus n square. Now let's write the numerator once again as it is n square e power m z into z whole divided by we have to expand this using a plus b whole square. So d dash square plus 2 m d dash plus m square. Then here when I multiply inside minus 2 m d dash minus 2 m square. Then the last two terms as it is m square plus m square. So here we find plus term and minus term 2 m d dash minus 2 m d dash we can cancel. m square m square will be added together to get 2 m square that we can cancel with minus 2 m square. So finally we left with d dash square plus m square. So the numerator m square e power m z into z whole divided by d dash square plus n square. Now I have to take n square common in the denominator. So numerator n square e power m z into z divided by n square bracket open d dash square by n square plus 1. And we can cancel these two. Now we have to carry this to the numerator. So e power m z into z bracket open 1 plus d dash square by n square whole power minus 1. The z is differentiable only once. If I expand this using the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1 all the higher power should be ignored. So this expansion is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dot dot dot. So all the higher power will be ignored. So we left with only e power m z into z bracket open 1 minus x itself the higher power d dash square by n square. So after that no need to write anything because when you multiply z inside the outside term let's write as it is z into 1 will be z then d dash square into z will become 0. So only one term is remaining. Now we have to replace in terms of x. This is e power z whole power m into z. But e power z is x. So x power m and this is log x. Now we are going to combine y equal to cf plus pi. So y equal to coming to cf we have x power m into c1 cos n log x. So we have to copy that as it is x power m into c1 cos of n log x plus c2 sine of n log x and finally the last term pi is x power m into log x.